Okay, so we're going to do a breath meditation today. And I want us to always start as we sit down on our cushion, reminding ourselves what the main thrust of meditation is about. The, the most important thing we are practicing is this state of being where we experience the world as it is. Now, I like to call this acceptance, but that's not exactly right. But it requires us to stop fighting against the world in order to see it as it is. If a scientist really, really wants their experiment to turn out a different way or one way as opposed to another, then they're just not going to do good science. They're not going to see the world the way it is because they're biased. So for us to really experience the world as it is, we have to be willing to stop trying to change it for a moment. So whenever we sit down on the cushion, we can just take a moment and see if there's any resistance to the world, resistance to our body, resistance to our feelings, resistance to our mind that is easily let go of or reduced. Another way of putting this is just acknowledge where you are as you begin to meditate. Let go of the idea that there's a wrong way to start meditating or that you're supposed to show up as a meditator in one way as opposed to another. And accept the fact that this is how you are. This is how your world is as you begin this meditation. This is how your environment is, warm or cold or loud or, qu or quiet, bright or dark. This is how your body feels, your legs and your torso, your feet, your hands, your head. And there might be discomfort or comfort. There might be old injuries or discomforts and new ones. There might be sleepiness or alertness or agitation. There might be comfort or relaxation. This is how my body is. And this is how my emotional body is. Noticing that your body might have sadness or fear or happiness or joy or hope. And we don't need to list all these things. We're just checking in with how things actually are. And this is how my mind is. It might be really busy distracted, might be obsessed with one thing or another. It might be very colorful with visual mind, or it might be very loud with talking mind. It could be very emotional, or it could be quiet and still. First, we just make an effort to accept where we are. After you've done this for a little while, you'll start to notice, maybe not today, but after you've done it through several meditations, you'll start to notice 
that when you do this, there's a little relaxation in the body or a kind of surrender. Sometimes it might feel really big, like, oh, wow, I just put down something I don't need to be fighting with right now. And sometimes it's just a small shift. But when you start to get a little better at this, then you'll notice that's a kind of entry point into meditation, that small shift towards less unacceptance, less resistance. and more seeing things as they are. And then we take that attitude of wanting to just see what's happening right now without trying to fix it or change it, without judging it or even really interpreting it or thinking about it, just seeing it directly as it is. We take that attitude and we bring it down to the object of focus. So today we're going to make that the breath. And then the other element of meditation comes in here. We want to practice acceptance. We need to be able to control our attention so we stay on acceptance. And so we're going to use our concentration to stay with the breath. In this accepting attitude. So the first thing to practice here is to experience the breath as it is in some part of the body. Let's try the belly today. No, it doesn't really matter where you start as long as it's accessible to you. Some people find one area easier than another. And just if, as if I was moving my hand slowly in front of your eyes, back and forth, how you would see it the whole time as I moved it from the left to the right and back. This is how we want to watch the breath. We notice it all the way as, it, as we breathe in and all the way as we breathe out. And we pay attention to the sensory qualities in this particular area. You can focus on one sensory quality or many, but it could just be the, the pressure, the, 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 the feeling of pressure, expansion or contraction in your body as you breathe. Or it could be the temperature. It could be the way it's flowing or vibrating. And the first entry point into acceptance here is to let go of controlling the breath. So we just wait to see what the breath does. As if we are watching from behind a bush a wild animal. We don't control the wild animal. Let's call it a wild animal sleeping. Right, we're watching a bear sleeping. It's very important that we pay attention to this bear because although it's beautiful, you know, we don't want to miss it waking up. But we don't control when the bear breathes in or breathes out. The first instruction I use here is to wait for the breath to breathe in and wait for it to breathe out.
So step step one here is the concentration. Step two is not controlling. So when your mind wanders, you got to bring it back gently to the breath. And then when you come back, don't immediately grab control of the breath. Just immediately let it be. Let it do what it's going to do. All the time we're practicing acceptance. So even when we get distracted, we accept that we've been distracted. And it's the, with the gentlest effort we bring it back. Can you see an entire breath, that is experience, feel an entire breath from beginning to end without getting distracted? At first, for a beginner or even for those of us that have practiced a while, if it's a rough day, you, you'll have find this very difficult. But with practice, you will get very good at this. So the anchor of your attention is the sensation of the breath, the way it feels. And you can use a label like breathing in and labeling it in, breathing out and labeling it out. Or you could count your breath. And a good practice to see when you can get 10 breaths without distraction. That's a good marker of you developing concentration. And the label will help you concentrate. Because the other elements of acceptance you want to start adding on. So we first let go of control of the breath and then we try to let go of thinking about the breath that is having ideas about it and that just means we keep coming back to the sensations as opposed to the thoughts about it you might notice you have a picture of your belly or your body as you breathe in your mind and that's natural and we're not trying to get rid of that but we want to control our attention such that we don't attend to the picture, we attend to the sensation. So there's a difference between your picture of the breath and the way the breath feels. Those are different senses, correct? So we're using our concentration to choose one of those, the sensation of feeling, so that we let go of thinking about the mind, the breath, sorry. Now, if you can do this perfectly, then the other ones sort of get done for free, but you can check. Are you thinking that your breath is good or bad? Are you telling yourself, wow, I'm really, that breath is nice, or I'm really doing a good job at meditation, or anything like that? Or, you know, I'm not doing a good job. And then in notice, if you have those thoughts, if you start trying to fix it, trying to control it, right? So we let go of control, and then we try to let go of thoughts. If thoughts come back, then judgment returns, then fixing returns, then controlling returns. And so we try to catch ourselves somewhere on that path. First, we catch ourselves if the mind wanders away from the breath entirely to a distraction. And we bring it back to the sensation. But we also can catch ourselves if our 
attention gets caught in thoughts about the breath, attempts to judge the breath, uh, fixing the breath, or controlling the breath. And there's some other ways in which our mind, we could be focused on our ideas about the breath rather than the breath itself. So we could have a picture of the breath, but we could also be focusing on a memory of the breath. Oh yeah, that last breath was really good. Or the beginning of the breath was really good when you're in the middle of the breath. We want to stay present with the breath. Oh, I've done eight breaths in a row. I hope I get to the 10th breath. That's the future. These are all very natural things for the mind to do. We're not trying to stop the mind. We are controlling our attention. And this is something you will learn is that your attention can be separate from your thoughts. You can attend to the feeling in the belly while your mind is thinking something else. And if you don't believe me, that's okay. Just keep coming back to the sensations in the belly. Okay, now with all that in mind, you let go. I just let go of all that instruction and pay attention to your breath for 10 breaths. Now, our addiction to mind and judgment is very, very deep. So do not judge yourself for uh, your uh, mind evaluating your meditation as you go. 
but keep becoming more aware of when that distracts you from the sensations of the breath. So at first, our distractions are very obvious. We think we listen to something outside of our body or we feel we distract from the breath to some pain or discomfort, or we start thinking about the future or the past of our life. And then you just bring your attention back to the breath. But as you get more concentrated, then the distraction becomes between the sensation of the breath and little ideas about the breath and meditation. And just deciding whether you're doing a good job or not. And for right now, if the meditation feels good, don't worry about that. But if you're not having a good time, that's okay. Just notice that that's a distraction. That's your mind saying, I don't like this. And that's okay. So your mind says that, but notice that's not what I'm supposed to focus on. And you just let the mind do that while you go back to the sensations, the pure sensations, before you've judged them. Now, a little bit of wisdom here is that if the concentration is really hard, make sure that you're not focusing on the breath that just doesn't feel good. It's okay to start by focusing on a part of the breath that feels better. One thing you might notice that is every time you breathe out, the body relaxes a little bit. And you could focus on that physical sensation, that sensory experience of the part of the breath that is relaxing. And that'll help with the concentration. It'll help with the acceptance.
So there are an infinite number of things your your attention could go think about or look at other than the breath. This is why it feels so hard at first. Because we are addicted to scanning our, our world and mind and body for new, exciting, dangerous, unpleasant or pleasant things to look at. That's the addiction. It's there for a good reason. Because it's sort of part of our survival mechanism to keep track of what's going on. So you don't have to worry. If something serious arises, you will wake up and attend to it. What we're practicing is just attending to one thing with genuine acceptance. This is allowed to be exactly as it is. So as you get more settled, as your concentration gets stronger, there will be more relaxation in the body. We don't realize how much energy and effort is going on in our body to prepare ourselves for the next thing that we're going to attend to. It's constantly getting a little excited by the new thing that we look at every millisecond. When we start to just focus on one peaceful thing with acceptance, our body can relax in ways it has never relaxed before. So wherever we are, we can finish up with a minute or two of really letting go of effort. So we let go of controlling the breath, but we were controlling our attention. But we remind ourselves that the ultimate goal is to really not control anything, to just accept everything as it is in our meditation practice. And so let's let go of controlling our attention. Now, if your attention is solidly on the breath, it might just stay there. Or it might not. But you stop doing anything. In Zen, this is called just sitting. Krishnamurti calls this 
choiceless awareness. My teacher Shinzen Young calls it doing nothing. Okay, and then as you come out of meditation, you want to allow yourself to maintain this kind of attitude of allowing as you open your eyes and take in your environment to see if there's a different way that you see what's here when you don't immediately try to change it. And do the same thing with the sense that you want to move and how you want to move. Just allow yourself to give yourself some comforting stretches or movements. Uh, if we've been sitting still, the body will usually feel a little uncomfortable with that. And your body will want to move. And that is an important reward to give yourself for sitting still, because sitting still is an important part of the practice. But it's not the goal of the practice. And we don't want it to become rigid. We want it to be something we enjoy. Okay. And thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next week.